founded in 1970, this beer was originally offered to only the most loyal customers of the brewery. See me walking around on the boy about town that you heard of. See me walking the streets on the top of the world that you heard of. It's beer a clop, and from the Brasserie de Pont, we have an Avec Les Bonvo de la Brasserie de Pont coming in at 9.5% ABV. Now, I hope that I pronounced that right. But basically, in, in a nutshell, the name of this beer means with the best wishes of the Brewery de Pont. And basically what happened is the Bonvo was founded in 1970 and it was given to the most loyal customers of the brewery. And these loyal customers liked it so much, they started brewing it. So, hence now you can find this beer and buy it and enjoy it. Um, it's really, really a good beer. I discovered this um, just when I was uh, a few weeks ago, when I was out in Holland and uh, Belgium. And that is when I discovered this beer. Now, the Brasserie or the Brewery de Pont, very, very famous for probably one of the, the best Saison beers um, of all time. You know, Saison de Pont is probably the benchmark for all Saison beers. And the, the Brasserie de Pont was a, was a former farm, believe it or not, and it can, go, they can actually date it back to about 1759. And sort of 1844 they started uh, brewing the beers and the first beer they would brew was the Saison which was the beer really for the farmers it was the beer that when they come in from work um, off the fields they'd get a bottle of, it, of the beer it's, it's, a, a Saison is, is a sort of a one, one hop uh, one malt, one yeast, simple beer but obviously DuPont's moved into other things and obviously they do let's say the, the Bon Vo and another one that, which I will review in, in the future is they do a um, another beer called Moinette which is a, a very very good beer but that, that's for a future episode so should we crack it open and give it a try and it's got one of these lovely cork I do, I do <laughs> like these not <laughs> I think on one of the videos when I opened it up and it shot straight up on the ceiling there like a bloody gun going off. But usually it's the mark, when they've got a cork in like this, it's usually the mark of a good, a good beer, in, in my opinion, you know. Um, as if the cork wants to move. There's a lot of pressure. There we go. And there's a lovely bit of smoke there as we got that cork out. Well, let's get it into a glass. Now, it's quite a big bottle, this. Um, the actual bottle is, is, is 37.5, so it's bigger than your standard 33s. Now, most of the bars charge about seven and a half euros for this beer. So, you know, it's not a cheap beer if you're ever in a bar, you know, and, and, and you, can, you can see that by obviously the bottle. Let's see if we can. That's a bit more. So, what we're looking at here, it's, an absolutely fantastic coloured beer. It's sort of, sort of got, got sort of some, some sort of copper traits to it. Um, got a lovely three finger white frothy head. You know, absolutely fantastic looking in that glass there. Look at the lace in there when you sort of just turn the glass. 
absolutely fantastic. Let's get the aromas. It's spicy, it's floral. It's bananas, there's yeast, you know, that, that, that classic uh, Belgium candied yeast there. It's complex like a triple. But believe you me, it's not a triple. Yeah, it's just... Puts that tingle on your nose, then, then Belgium yeast. Really, really, really a fantastic smelling beer. Let's get the rest in there. Let's get the the, the, the goodness, the yeasty bits, which are just in the bottom of the bottle there. It's a lively beer as well. I noticed this when I was in the bar, you know, it was a, a sod to pour even in the proper glass. But we'll get it. I think it only makes the beer look, look even better when it when it's got when it's got the foam on it like that. You know, it just looks good. So there we have it, in it's full glory, what a fantastic looking beer, let's dive in and give it a try. If I can get through the phone that is. Now anyone that's familiar with triple caramel, it's a very, very similar tasting style of beer, believe it or not. It's a lot hazier than a triple caramel, but it's spicy, um, it's herbal notes. medium bitterness, it's got some citrus notes in there, you've got the malts and you've got a sort of a dry sort of finish. It's very very silky on the tongue. Um, the carbonation, believe it or not, even though it's a bucket of pour, it do, you don't feel there's a lot of carbonation in it. You also know that this is a nine and a half percent beer. You actually feel it, you know, where you think some of these beers at nine and a half percent, you're drinking them, and they feel like a four and a half percent beer. This one actually, you know, you've got something in your hand that's a, that's nine and a half percent. You know, you're starting to warm up here now. It's a very, very complex taste to this beer as well. It's a true beer that if you wanted to, you could keep it and age it because it, it has a second fermentation inside the bottle. And I do know people that, you know, We'll keep this sort of five, six years before they open before they open a bottle. So they'll get a bottle and keep it five or six years before they open it. But I'm one of these people. Unfortunately, I can't sort of age beers because if I get a beer, I want to drink it. If you know what I mean, it's it's that 
I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for it. You know, I want to drink it and experience it as it is. You know, um, yes, I know the flavours change and that sort of thing, but I can't. To you imagine like reviewing a beer and I kept this for four years. What's the point of this review? Unless you go out and buy a bottle and keep it for four years, it's pr it's pretty pointless, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, it's you want to review a beer and give the people the impressions of what it is straight away. Now, if you decide to buy this and age it for four years, by all means, do it, and that's up to you. You know, um, but I me mean, personally, I like the beer as it is. To be honest. It's a beer which I consider that you must try before you die. It's very clean drinking. There's a bit of sort of tangerine in there as well. Peppers. It's one of these beers that's so complex you sort of you pick out different notes as you, as you move along. Um, which is fantastic. That's that's what a good beer should be, you know. Um, I'm not a I'm not a lover of beers. You taste it. You take the first sip. That's what the beer tastes like. And so every other sip, consequently after that, tasting the same. When you sort of you get a beer like this, and after the first couple of sips, and it's lubricated inside your mouth, you're now discovering more flavours it's fantastic and it goes to show really you know how 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 skillfully brewed this is how lovingly brewed this is and the measure of the ingredients that go into it oh. the pepper back ends quite nice and it's, it's black pepper it's not overly sweet it's not overly bitter it sort of sits there in the middle um, fantastic beer is it's in my opinion it's, it's a five out of five all day long a really underrated beer you don't see a lot of people ordering this um, for some reason, it might be the price, you know, in, in a bar, you know, seven and a half euros in a bar. Um, to buy it, you're probably looking at about four and a half quid to buy it in a bottle shop. So, you know, it's not cheap. Um, I got this bottle from uh, from Beautiful Beers in Bury St. Edmunds. I think it cost me £4.70. Um, so, it's not a cheap beer. It's a very, very good beer. Um, all I can say is, look, Get yourself, get hold of a bottle, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And obviously subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers we're nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>